Hey guys, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help on Facebook. This is the new DX, or the newest machine that Brother has out. This has been out for a little while. But what I'm going to do in this video is quickly go through and show you um, <clears throat> some of the options that you have in the editing screen. Okay. So I need to put on uh, just a couple shapes here. Okay, so here I just have two simple shapes. I'm not going to be doing anything with these, but I needed them up here to show you what is available in this edit screen. Okay, so on this first landing screen, after we have them approved, in the wrench here, um, you can change your cut area, 12 by 24 or your 12 by 12 mat. Okay, your background is darker or lighter. Okay, and then your pattern interval, which is the distance, the closeness that they are together if you come out here and you use the auto arrange. The top one just kind of throws them all together with no pattern per se. This one arranges them in uh, top to bottom, and then this one arranges them as they pretty much set on your mat um, all in one direction, okay? And then this, again, offers the same thing, okay? But that's the auto arrange. This is the background scan. When you click this, I do not have a mat loaded, but you hit start, it will scan in whatever media you have on your mat so that you can then place your file, whatever you have, directly over top of it so that you can get a correct placement of your file onto whatever is sitting on your mat. I absolutely love this button, okay? Um, you can then save it from here to your machine, out to Canvas, or to your USB stick. Pooby. Because if this thing didn't bounce enough, little Miss Pooby thinks it's a cat tree. All right, so let's come in. Oh, and then again here, add. You can go into your patterns or your retrieve data area, and that will let you bring in data, Pooby, from wherever you have it uh, stored at, okay? All right, so in your edit screen, you have your mag glass, which I love, so you can blow it up. <clears throat> here you have your screen adjust but as I was saying these arrows okay oops these arrows right here move the screen these arrows move the item that is highlighted in red okay so whatever you have selected these little arrows at the top move that and these arrows move the entire page Okay, so that you can see what you're doing. Don't be like me when you get excited. You picked the wrong one. Okay, if you do that, come out here. Hit your ungroup, and that will allow you to fix your boo-boos. Okay. Um, if you have something that is, um, let's say you have a file, and you're one object is hidden behind it how many times have you had that happen and you really need to have access to it and you can't drag this one out of the way okay let's say it has to stay there well you use those arrows like that okay and then you come down here to this one and you can grab it and then move it okay and inside here you have all of these Okay, then you also have your undo, you have your magnifying glass, which is the same. Okay, then you also have your wrench, which allows you to change your cut area and the background if you do like your background scanning. Okay, up here you will see this and it's grayed out. Well, it's grayed out because there's not at least two items selected. Okay, so how do we do that? Well, we come in here. Okay. This box is called the squeeze box. Well, that's what I call it, the squeeze box. Okay, you can select that, and that will select whatever you have in that box. What happens if you want to select everything that's on your page? You can come in here and just click that right away, okay? Just note, if you come in here and you have something outside of the box, Let's say this is already selected and you come in and you want something selected down here. 
you click OK, all that's red and that still is, just tap on that to unselect it or else when you try to group or weld, that's going to be included, okay? So just be aware of that. All right, so, oops. Make sure all of your stuff, now that was so strange. That reposition, did you see what happened there? It <laughs> repositioned itself as soon as I exited. Okay, so let's say we want to weld this together. Well, that's good, great, and fine. Where did the screen go? Inside your object edit. This is the group. Let me show you this. Okay, this is group. It's not permanent. That's why it stays blue because I can hit it again. That ungroups it and it lets me, um, it lets, gives me the ability to pull it apart when I go back into that red screen. Okay, this one will give me a message normally. Yep, it's irreversible, which means once I do that, I can't change my mind and go back even if I hit the undo button. Okay, so let's cancel that for a minute. Okay, oh, here's this button again. Aha! Okay, so that allows me to do alignments if I so choose in here. Okay, now this one with three isn't available. Well, that's correct because I don't have three items on my mat. Now, just be careful um, because if you, like I did one time accidentally, have the exact same image, the exact same size on here and you utilize this and it stacks them, it will cut. So let's say you have the word um, Halloween on here and you have it three times and you accidentally stack them on top of each other, it will cut three separate times, okay? So just be aware of that. And here's your wrench cut and background. You have your undo, so you can undo everything that you have done. But when you use that, just make sure that um, you don't forget that you stack things, okay? Um, wrench in here, cut area and background as well. So that's mirror, okay, well it should be mirror. Yeah, nope, it doesn't want to do anything for us. Okay, well let's see if it does it when I click okay. No, okay. Well, this is supposed to be mirror, which means it flips it, but as you can see, it doesn't do anything. Um, let's come back out here. Let's undo this so that I can actually use the stuff in here. Okay. This is the grow. Let's increase the size. Watch what happens before when we use the old CMs it would stop or it wouldn't even grow. You couldn't increase the size if it was butted up to the edges. Okay. Now this one normally it will actually keep growing but this one didn't. That's okay. Let's pick on this guy now. Let's see if he'll keep growing. Sometimes when they stop at their shape, yep. <clears throat> These will actually keep growing right through to a 12 by 24 mat. Okay? Just because this is a 12 by 12 doesn't mean anything. Alright? So let's just click an X. That should return it, yep. This one will allow me to duplicate it. So if I want two, I now have two of these. Okay, Rotate. This will allow me to rotate it. Now I bet you this will allow me to increase the size way past the 24 mat or into the 24 mat. Yep, see? It just grew. There. So then, if you don't have a 24 inch mat, this is not something that you want to do because you can't use it, okay? And did you notice how this file grayed out? You see that light gray line as compared to this black line? That's correct, because what that tells you, watch, if we come out here and click OK, 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 oh, geez. Cut up, oh, it's out of the effective area. That's correct because we have a 12 inch mat selected. Okay, so let's come back in here. Let's come into our edit, object edit. Okay, 
let's see let's change this to the 24 mat and see if that comes in black yeah now we have our black file and we could have changed the mat size in our further back screens but I just wanted to come in there so now we're able to cut yeah I don't have the start because I don't have a mat loaded in my machine okay all right let me pull this down a little bit <clears throat> object edit okay now this is something that if you bring in a file that you have made or bring a file from someplace else the seam allowance may not work for you okay this is a huge problem that a lot of us were noticing uh, especially at Christmas time when we were making um, our designs okay so that one applied it but it's gonna go over the edge so let's put it on this one but this is files from the machine so that's why it's working on on these but I pull a file from uh, things that I made files that I made just simple files and the seam allowance would not work okay it would pop up and then it would go right off okay in the mirror let's see let's okay this is the fill if you turn the fill on your fill pattern we could have a solid fill we'll have to turn off the seam allowance because you cannot have both okay oh actually it does allow it now seam allowance we'll turn that off okay let's check let's change our fill pattern let's change it to that okay so then I could draw that and cut that okay and then your extra your additional line to the spacing point one okay that's a lot lower too all right so that's the additional line that's the line that's supposed to be drawn on the outside of your design to make it appear thicker no I'm not seeing that so this is something I would have to test to see if it worked I know on the CMs it worked the very first um, time it was put out but then the further further uses the further updates it no longer work like it was supposed to okay but that's how you do and have access to all of that okay so this is size this is duplicate this is rotate this is seam allowance this is mirror this is fill and this is add your extra line okay this is group oh this is group this is weld so let's bring this over here how do we make it weld? Let's see if we can actually do it with the fill in there. It might not let us. Let's try it. Yep, good, it did. It let us weld. It just knocked the fill out. Let's see if we can fill that. Yeah, cool. Additional line on. Um, nope. okay so your additional line won't work on that okay so you can have your fill but you can't do the additional line okay which is interesting all right so that is all in your editing screen okay do you have your delete which is your safe deletion screen if you have this saved anywhere now if you have not saved this and you delete it it's gone okay and you'll have to redo everything okay so to save it just come out here and click save okay and that's it so that's all of your basic editing functions um, from your machine and you get to them by just pulling a pattern in off of your USB stick your wireless however you get it here or creating one on the machine okay guys if you have any questions you can find me over at scan and cut canvas and scal help on Facebook thanks a lot guys
I'll give credit to my assistant cameraman today. This is Pooby, and this is the one who is shaking the camera. She's about to fall on the DX again, so I'm going to cut the video off now and move the DX before she flops, because um, she's a rather thick kitty, before she flops on it again. Tell them bye, Pooby. Tell them bye. Tell them bye. Brat.